What's up, sweaty? Back again with another 90 day fiasco time. Boom! So today we're gonna continue our conquest of knocking down these couples. Yeah! And what better way to start than with Miss Cat Lady herself? Uh, right before she went full saber tooth tiger. Hey, so Darcy's not new to the show, she's been here once or twice too many times, and despite being only like a thousand years old, she's still embellishing in her dreams of hunting down her Prince Charming. So last we heard of Darcy, she had just broken up with Mr. Jesse Meester, whose ego was a tad bit larger than their age gap. Now the relationship, once as well as his uh, lip singing, <laughs> And this dude's nasty ass take was probably the reason why they broke up. I don't know. I'm just saying. If anybody try to cook me a stick like that, nah, we ain't friends. I'm a mistake, man. No, you're not. That looks straight up doo doo. I'm surprised the kids ate that rubber. But that's neither here nor there. So Darcy's back. Uh, better than never. And she has officially not moved on from Mr. Jesse Meester. Instead, all she did was push her baggage from one dude to the next dude, Mr. Tom Brooks, who was recently caught for stealing IG photos to make his life look better than it actually is. What a loser. But nonetheless, with Darcy's superpower of falling in love faster than as young could go abracadabra, but as standards lower than Nicole's IQ, it turns out that, uh, it makes her some really good TV. So let's see what Darcy's been up to, shall we? Let's get it. My name is Darcy. I'm 44 years old and I live in Middletown, Connecticut. Three years ago, I met my ex-boyfriend Jesse online. It felt like a fairy tale. You're like a prince. Well, thank you. Anyway, so this relationship didn't last for more than about two seconds because it became pretty apparent that they were more toxic than a can of tuna. Mr. Meester was a bit cuckoo, freaking troll, and Miss Darcy wanted to move faster than I can blink. We have seen each other for a day. <laughs> Are you planning about having kids? Just I don't want to mind. Yeah, pretty much. Spoken from a dude that looks like this. Come on, bruh. I mean, when a nutcase calls you a nutcase, yeah, you're pretty much a nutcase. Dude, <laughs> my third eye awoke. Oh my god. Keep in mind, this dude, Jesse, was closer in age to her daughters than he was to her. Yeah, she was over here complaining about why he was so immature. I'm very immature. I, I, you got me. Now, Sprinkle wants some doo-doo steak in a pair of Lubitons and you get some like this. Bruh. You don't love me. You never did, you liar. Get out of my life. I just wanted probably closure and I never really got that closure. It was always like an awkward ending. Never again do I want to go through something like that. Yeah, sure you don't, buddy. Never again do I want to go through something like that. Okay, then proceeds to sign up for another round of 90 Day Fiasco. It's dummy. Look, I understand her situation. Clock is ticking. Life alert commercial is just right around the corner. So we gotta start moving and grooving. Vamanos. So she heads back to social media, sets up all her traps and catfish photos, and with a bing, with a boom. I actually connected with Tom four years ago on Facebook. Bruh. We're always somewhat flirtatious and we wanted to plan a meetup, but the timing was off. I stayed loyal to, to Jesse. I just, you know, always did kind of wonder about Tom. Yeah, me too. This dude's been lying. For all you guys who don't know, this dude has been exposed for stealing photos and pretending to attend all these lavish events. You know, something light. Here's some Louis Vuitton flex a little Rolex Submariner, sipping only the finest Cabernet Sauvignon. Psych! On the Dino Nuggets and RC Cola, just like the rest of us, buddy. <laughs> anyway, so spoiler alert, uh, this dude looks nothing like his photos. Shocker, I am convinced. Homie's been using the same photos for like 20 years. Brothers 2K19, your photos should not be looking like you just took that bad boy with a potato. Anyway, so Darcy takes her two daughters out for a little bowling night before she ships out to London and clearly the daughters are the ones doing the parenting. I think he's a great guy, but you should always like watch out, you know, with the Jesse situation. It wasn't a good experience. Bruh. He would like talk so bad about you. It was like ridiculous. But he is not that serious. Why are you crying? Like, you know, it's pretty bad when, like, teenage girls are giving you advice on love. Well, ain't that the population that needs advice? <laughs> nah, I mean, but hey, whatever. Anyway, so Darcy has his knack for, like, crying in almost every scene for, like, stupid reasons. Hey, look, Darcy is a dusty potato. Like, I don't understand why she gotta go so far for love. Just because your sister got a foreign banana don't mean you gotta one-up the one-upper. Like, save some money and get you a belly from Texas. Anyway, so later that night, she goes out for a couple drinks with the fellas. Honestly, so, I feel like she's yeah. a different person. She is. Like, she's like, just, just glowing, like, glowing and smiling. I don't, I'm in love. I think, I think I'm in you're love. Like, you're yeah, just but like, Darcy. I deserve it, Stacey. Relax. Let excited. me be excited. You've had your little three-year romp. Man, y'all women scare me. Y'all be switching up fast. Like a light. Super duper quick too. Like you saw that? Oh my god, Darcy, you are glowing, girl. But screw you. Haha. <laughs> what the heck? Like even the chick who said she was a different person. I feel like yeah. she's a different person. Started doo-doo talking about how she was not a different person. Behind her back, of course. Before Darcy met Jesse, she said the same exact thing. He's Mr. Sexy, he's my this, he's my that. 
What a snake! So Darcy, out of spite, wants to prove that this boy Tom is a different breed. Oh, he's a different breed, all right. So she decides to call him up and, you know, flex a little bit. Oh, there you are. Wow. What were you doing in Grand Canary? I went to visit my cousin. He's got a nice 60 foot yacht there. Lion. You can come and join me. Amazing. Mm. That's how you do. That Monopoly money, this is the Grand Canary he's talking about. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> That's how you do. So, anyways, the minute her friend here starts sniffing. I do, Tom. Wow. She just started acting out of pocket. What a snake. Now, with Tom being a little flirtatious, he is sent out red flags that uh, maybe he ain't ready to commit. But with Darcy being a little thirsty, <laughs> Akuna Matata, and she flew straight to London. Do, 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 do. Well, upon arrival, she's met with uh, Carl. And informs him that uh, she'll need about three hours to prep in probably the most dirtiest place on the planet. Airport bathrooms. Gotta smell like an angel. Bruh. Oh. I'm ready. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I'm pretty shocked that uh, Carl didn't need a gas mask right about now. Cause I what? This woman is literally a walking Charmander. She's about one speck of heat away from getting a uh, let up. Now I need somebody to explain this. How are you gonna spray all that perfume, rock a little Gucci, a little Louis, some Cartier bracelets, and a pair of Lubies, or walk around barefoot in a public bathroom? <laughs> That is a foot. Ugh, get away from me. No wonder Miser got mad at you for uh, stepping on his shoes. He got pissed off that my feet were on his shoe. Oh, what's it with them dirty toes? Anyway, so now she's on the way to meet Tom. And I guess the camera guy was like, uh, so what are you expecting out of Tom? Just hoping to feel that love from Tom and feel like a beautiful woman and respected. You mean something you should have already felt before trying to get into a new relationship? But that's neither here there. So we finally get introduced to Mr. I don't got old money, but I got old photos, Tom Brooks. My name's Thomas. My friends call me Tom. I'm 39 years old and I'm from Nottingham in England. I'm good at getting to the bedroom. Everything after that's like, I'm not, I'm in unknown territory. I have had a numerous amount of women in my past. <laughs> Yo, somebody get this man some oxygen. <laughs> Yeah, buddy, you need a new pair of lungs when you get a whiff of Darcy. Maybe even an emergency fire extinguisher. I don't know. So her buddy here is getting his hair done by Squidward. Hoping to at least look reasonably not any closer to the photos he's been sending her, and here's why. So what was your last picture that you sent to her? Then? From 1990. Bruh. I do have a really good selfie pose, I guess. I was gonna say that's a fantastic pose. One good side, it's this side. 45 degree angle down, camera up to the side with a, you know, the kind of tropical steel look. <laughs> Yeah, you tropical steel, all right. Mr. Tropical Steel more IG photos. See, a new geometry was gonna come in handy one day. Probably why I fell asleep in almost every class. Uh, just didn't think it was gonna be used to boost some in-life crisis ego. But hey, whatever. So we're all well aware that this man has been willingly catfishing this woman for a close half a decade now. Oh my god. Probably why he only sat sideways during FaceTime. But hey, whatever. And now she's gonna get her chance to see the real beast in his final form. I am so nervous it's not funny. Ooh, hands are sweating. <laughs> I don't usually get nervous and I don't even know why I am. Maybe if you look more like your photos, uh, you wouldn't be so nervous, buddy. Just a thought. <laughs> so look how the dude had a setup, where the first thing Darcy sees is his 45 degree angle down, camera up, the Dario tropical steel look. But after that, <laughs> brace yourself. Oh my god. So did you meet him, man? Awkward would be an understatement. It's like one of those fast food ads where you're like, ooh, that looks good. You go buy it and we'll bam, burger looks nothing like it. And you scroll to the receipt and it says, no returns. Yeah, that's Darcy. <sighs> Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. You're much better than your photos. Really? Mm. <laughs> you have an amazing smile. Bruh. I get you a drink. Good idea, buddy. She gonna need a couple drinks before you even start resembling your photos. And don't act surprised, you know what you did. Now, Darcy is kind of disappointed, let's be real. She may not admit it, but she is. If it wasn't for the cameras, uh, she probably wouldn't be able to recognize this guy from a dirty foot away. Now, thankfully, Tom's not a dummy, so he does get the hint. I don't know, I get the hint she wasn't. Maybe as happy as she should have been. I don't know. Stop lying. I don't know. Yeah, you do. You sent her a picture with a six pack and you out here looking like Shrek. Now you know exactly what's going on. So Sherlock Tom here's like, uh, maybe I should ask her. So am I as you expected? Better. Stop lying. Now honestly, this guy could have been a breakdancing llama with a toupee. And she probably still would have been happy dory. Now I don't know if she had one too many glass of juice, but at some point desperation just started leaking out the crevices of her lips. There's just something there. I really feel it. And Tom might not be fit as like a supermodel, like workout gym boy, but that's not what I want. I want a real man. Yeah, sure you do, buddy. How's the juice, Darcy? Really feel it. Yeah, I'm sure you do, because you starting to act crazy. She over here talking about, I want a real man. And then starts getting out of pocket like this. So is our bedroom nice? Your room is beautiful. 
What is wrong with you? Literally, probably an hour into the first date. First date? You should already banana chasing. Slow your road, grandma. Keep your little crabby legs together. Okay. At this point, if I was Tom, I might just have to moonwalk myself out of your life. You is crazy. I don't even know if you fart yet. <laughs> Kidding. Anyway, so they head home to his rented Airbnb, and the uh, desperation show continues. You just have this amazing debonairness. What? These are just like, this is normal. A lot of women in this world, boys. <laughs> what? Darcy, what are you even talking about? Why are you even crying? I have no clue what you just said. She's literally crying because he pulled out a chair. You just pulling out a chair. That was very special. You didn't have to do that. I am baffled. Darcy, you don't need a man to feel special. You just need a therapist. Today. Because you is crazy. Anyway, so he takes her to go see the rest of the house. And when they finally got to his room, this is what she does. I like it. Do you want to sleep here and I sleep downstairs? Is that No, I just no? don't really feel comfortable sleeping alone. Bruh. What is wrong with you? Why are you even crying? Yo, if I was Tom right now? Oh my god! Oh Jesus! Oh my god. But hey, what do I know? I'm just sipping so- No, I just what? don't really feel comfortable sleeping alone. What is wrong with you?